Hey guys, Kevin here from the Solid Cam University channel. This video just wanted to do a quick product review on the 3D Connection mouse. Now this mouse is something that uh, makes my life a whole lot easier and basically cannot live without just because I've gotten so used to it now. Um, you guys will notice in when I do my night classes that the parts uh, rotate around very smooth and fluently and also have a lot of shortcut keys set up for your uh, the 3D Connection mouse. So, just wanted to kind of show you guys what it can do for you guys, and let's go take a peek and show you what it can do. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So what we'll do here is we'll take a peek at how this 3D connection mouse can actually benefit you. Um, so what I've done is I actually set up all my shortcut keys down here. So I have a list of shortcuts that I can input in here. And if you actually want to change those, you can go to 3D connection properties and click on buttons and you can set these to whatever you want. So right now I have number one set to sketch, um, number two is to mate, number three to measure, and I can switch these around to whatever I would like, um, whatever is gonna be the easiest for you guys. Um, so I've got that all set up here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, use my shortcut keys and like I said, this works for SolidCam and SolidWorks. So I'm gonna use my shortcut key number five here and start a new project. So I'll just hit the button right here and you'll see that it automatically started a new, new excuse me, new million project. And now I can come in here and start picking my coordinate system. So the nice thing about this is as I'm kind of coming around here, I'm not having to use my mouse at all to rotate. Um, I'm using my space mouse. And you can see right here as I'm moving, the little 3D connection mouse pops up and that's your kind of your center of revolution of what's going on there. Um, so for right now, we'll just do select face, hit that green checkbox, and we'll just kind of buzz through this real quick here. Okay, so now we can start programming here. Um, you'll actually see, I can um, see the parameters of what's going on. So if I just hit this button right here and move down to my SOLIDWORKS, it will actually show me, um, you know, if it's an assembly mode, the author, the file size, um, you can do properties and do center of mass and volume down here at the bottom. You guys can get density also. Um, but for the cam side, it really doesn't matter to me at all. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get back to the function keys here and you'll see that, um, you know, like I said, I have everything kind of set up how I want. So the nice thing is if I can come in here and as I'm kind of programming this, I can do is hit my shortcut key and go to my wireframe real quick. Um, or I can hold it long click and go back to my the full shaded here. Um, so a lot of nice features with this. Now, as I'm kind of panning and rotating around here, real easy to move around and I can adjust the speed of how fast that moves around or I can slow it down. Um, so we can go take things a little bit slower here. Also, I have all my views set up over on the right hand side. So, you know, if I want to do a front view, um, we can do a top view, uh, isometric is, this one right here. Um, so you can get all your views all in there. And these are, like I said, full customizable. Um, for whatever reason, if you guys get into or you lost your part off in La La Land, uh, can't find it, there is the fit button right here. So I can bring it right back in here and uh, bring your part back to life. So what I'm gonna do is um, we'll just pause this real quick and I'm gonna get some tool path on here and show you the simulation side of things. So as I'm programming this, um, the 3D connection mouse works in all of our windows too. So you'll see it right here, a tool. I can actually rotate it around um, how I want to see that tool. Um, I can kind of zoom in, zoom out. Um, even when I go to select my tool here, on my picture over here, you'll notice it's very easy to rotate around um, where if you didn't have the 3D connection mouse, you'd have to right click and do a rotate um, or do a fit. Um, this is gonna eliminate all those clicks for you when it's all done automatically with the uh, 3D connection mouse. So, you know, if we wanna throw a holder on here, um, just have a half inch. And now we have a holder on there and I can kind of zoom that around and do, do with whatever I need to, take a peek at it. Like I said, if it gets off into La La Land, um, we can fit it right back to the screen. Um, if we wanna do an isometric view of it, um, 
you can kind of move it around that way. Um, so with that being said, we'll just hit the green checkbox here, save and calculate. Okay, so now our part has been done being calculated here. So now let's go ahead and simulate this. Um, where the big kind of factors come into with the three connection mouse as moving this around is, you know, before we can come in here and, uh, you know, we can rotate it around with our mouse and move it around. Um, the zoom works just like the zoom in SolidWorks. Um, so if we play this through here, uh, you can see it. But now when I'm doing my 3D connection mouse, um, you'll see it's a lot more smooth rotating around. But the big one is if I go to my solid verify, um, my zoom feature has completely changed um, from what it was before in that previous screen. So if I'm trying to zoom in, you'll see I have my mouse cursor over here and trying to zoom in, it's not moving around like it's supposed to. So a lot of times what you have to do is come over here, move stuff around, um, even do the magnifying glass and kind of get everything in picture. Well, that all changes when you're using the 3D connection mouse. And we'll play this through here and you'll see that I can zoom in just by pulling up on the uh, the puck right here and move that part around however which way I would like. Um, tip it upside down, move it around. Um, if you guys want to get into zoom into a, you know, a feature down here at the bottom, real easy to quick and move around. Um, so this, this 3D connection mouse is definitely a, uh, a, a must have. Um, I definitely will not program without my 3D connection mouse, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the KevCam night classes of some products that we use to make our life easier. And this is definitely one of them. So definitely um, check them out and um, you know, let us know if there's anything we get, can help you guys out with. So um, like I said, and if you guys go to their website, um, if you just go up and if you just type in 3D connection, and this is their website where you guys can get all their stuff from. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's a huge time saver, um, especially with all the shortcut keys that are going on there um, and, and the ease of, of use is just tremendous. So like I said, the, this is something that I will not program without anymore. Um, but uh, just want to kind of show you guys that and give a quick product review on how it works and you know how it can benefit you guys. Thanks, guys. Hopefully talk to you soon. Bye-bye.